A new public health service is starting at the Grant County Health Center this spring. The Syringe Access Exchange Program is designed to reduce the rates of diseases spread by IV drug use, including hepatitis C and HIV, help get dirty needles out of the community, help those who use IV drugs access treatment and other important health care services. It's open to anyone who uses injection drugs. As with other public health services in Grant County, the syringe exchange program will operate out of the Grant County Health Center. Initially, the program will be offered on Wednesdays from 1 to 4 p.m. Each visit will start with disposal of any contaminated needles and equipment. Wait times for this program will be minimal. Specially trained nurses will provide services. The nurse will begin by asking the participants a variety of questions. Topics include drug use behaviors and interest in other testing or services. Based on answers to these questions, the nurse will provide the participant with clean injection equipment as well as the means to dispose of used syringes. The nurse and the participant will then discuss any other health needs. Part of this conversation will be about drug treatment. A trained counselor can provide referrals to treatment programs to participants who desire such services. The nurse will then ask if the client needs any other public health services. If so, the client will be registered for those services as needed. This can include things like HIV testing, hepatitis C testing, pregnancy testing, STD testing and treatment, and immunizations. Finally, the nurse can provide referrals to other health services, such as insurance enrollment and wound care. The nurse can also provide access to overdose prevention kits. The visit will end and the client will exit the building. Participants in the syringe access exchange program will be required to agree to a list of rights and responsibilities. Participants will be treated with respect and dignity and will have the right to privacy. They can choose to receive injection equipment, education, and HIV screening tests anonymously. In return, participants will be expected to be responsible for the syringes and to return any used syringes, request only supplies that are needed, take advantage of other health services offered by the program, refrain from any drug activity while on health department property, and ask for help when ready. Other communities have found that these programs do not encourage drug use, do not increase crime in the neighborhoods in which they operate, do reduce the risk of disease, do help get people on a path to treatment. The syringe access exchange program by no means is the solution to the heroin epidemic in our community. However, it is an important tool to reduce the impact of heroin use by stopping the spread of infectious disease. Implementing other aspects of the Regional Heroin Response Plan, such as reducing supply of drugs and improving access to treatment, is key.